try this again. This is a 332 American Flyer steam engine from the late 40s, probably 48 or 49. It's a DC motor, meaning it only takes two wires to operate it. And um, I paid about $100 for it, and it did not run. It was uh, sight unseen on the internet. And when I got it, I tried to run it, and it wouldn't. Um, I took a few things apart, put them back together, lubricated them, lined them up, made sure that it was as good as I could get it. And then I hooked it up to my transformer. And because it's DC, I have to use a rectifier to convert the AC output to, um, to DC. So there's the rectifier is wired into the transformer. As you can see, I just lug the wires in and jump her off of the, uh, the DC current. So if I change directions, I do that by reversing the leads. But I'm only using this for test. Uh, this is LaBelle 107. This is what I use for lubricating um, the engine parts. Um, it's plastic compatible and it's a multi-purpose. It's a very thin, high-quality machine oil. Um, I also did some contact cleaner on the... I used some contact cleaner on the um, engine parts for the brushes and the commutator to make sure that that was as clean as I could get it. I had some sparks, I had some rough starts, but I think we're pretty ready to go. I'm just barely, barely off the stop of the transformer and we're getting, and we're getting a, a good motion here. There is some gear noise. I think there's a loose wheel I need to work on. There's a tiny bit of smoke coming out, but I can inch this thing forward and as I go faster, I'm putting in more power more power is producing more heat so that I'm getting more smoke. And and there's the linkage is operating pretty smoothly as you can see. And there is full speed. And we're getting uh a good deal of smoke down here. And the engine, the engine for all practical purposes could be put on the track and operated. So there you have it, a hundred dollars. Clean it, lube it, check it out, and run it. And I like that. That's pretty good. This engine is is a very desirable. It's called a Northern. It's the biggest of the American Flyer steam engines they made. Uh, 332 is early, like I said, 48, 49. The fact that it's DC and you have to use this rectifier scares people away, but believe me, uh, it's a darn good running engine, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or sell it, but I feel really good about having it back together and operating. Probably the first time in many years this engine has run. Isn't that great? Okay, that's my little story for today on my vacation day back from home.